Hello everyone, this is Curtis with We Whack a Lawn Cure. Hey, today is May the 11th, 2020. And guess what I'm finna do, y'all? I'm finna to, uh, get out here and mow some of this tall, weeded grass again. This is my first time mowing this year property. This year is a regular one I mow every year, sometimes twice a year. And I've cleaned it up a number of times. And customer call me back again to do it again and well the customer informed me that they got a citation from the city again to clean this property up so y'all ready y'all probably know what property I'm talking about <laughs> but here we go here we go let's take a look at it okay is this your property here with the old house on it uh, as you can see right here it's all grown up again and you know I cut it last year and you see how it looks now and you see they uh, you know you keep boarding up the windows but the homeless keep kicking it in and going in anyway and they, you see you can see old pillar there but that happens so you see what I'm working with this here overgrown weeded property but I'm gonna clean it up I'm gonna get it looking good for the customer again you know, just try to uh, be safe about cleaning this here up as you can see it right here just you know this stuff here is uh, Girl, well, just you, you see all these weeds and all, and you see all this here. It takes time to clean this here type of stuff up. So, I have my mowers with me, so I'm gonna get in here and see what I can do. This again, man, this. Ugh. Some overgrown stuff. So, and you know I have, I have mowed this your property a number of times, as you can see, and you see right here again where they have taken off the boarding where they have the windows right there they, they'll take it off and go in there and you know make them a home stay in there but uh yeah just looking at it so I'm gonna see what I can do y'all I'm gonna get in here and try to clean this up again yeah this here is uh Overgrown. But, uh, well, you see what I'm working with. You see what I'm working with. Oh, what can I say? It's consistent work. It goes in year round. You know, uh, you know, if you look back through the videos, you see where I've cleaned this property up a number of times. And they won't. You know, I, I just work with the customers, you know, care what, whatever they feel that they want it. Then I come out and do it. Of course, hey, they let it grow up, they call me again. I'm like, okay. So, I guess it works out for them, you know. Uh, you know, it, sometimes they'll let these properties really get overgrown and uh, it takes time. Just to clean them up. As you can see, you can see on here on the outside. I got to get all this here all cleaned up right here too. Uh, see all of this right here out on the outside. Yeah, it's gonna gonna take some time to get that out. Like a little kid's bicycle over there. But so 
I'm finna spend some time here and trying to uh, make this look good again. Yep, I'm finna make it look, try to make it look good again for the customer. You know, you always wanna, you wanna take care of your customers, so that's what I'm finna do. I'm finna take care of this. I'm finna take care of the customer. I'm finna to, uh, clean this up again for the customer and get this property looking clean again. So, let me jump in here and get busy. Stay tuned.
Alright guys, I'm back. I managed to get this here all cleaned up. Uh, it was a mess. I mean, I had to go over it a number of times. Just dealing with the overgrowth of weeds and grass in it. It had paper in it and all of that. But uh, I managed to get it all mowed and all. A few more things, just some, you know, some paper and stuff around here. So just have to get that up. But uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, this here's the way it looked after taking and you know going over it a number of times to uh, just get it down. Then I was trying to trim all the in the fence area there, trying to get all of that out, a lot of that fence. So I managed to get that out and just walking all the way around and trimming and everything. On it, as you can see, over on this here side here and over on this here side now this property i like i said earlier you know i got some more videos on this here property where i've mowed it a number of times and when the homeless came in and just took it over and oh they bam just bambooed this property with nothing but trash i mean i picked it up hauled bags of trash away from here uh over the period of times that i've mold this property and you get it all clean and as you can see these homeless will come back and he'll just junk it up you know they'll have beer cans paper all over the place as you can see boards and stuff right here and you know got a pillow that look like it belongs to a hotel where it probably stole it or something other look like one of those shelter pillars you know that that was donated to the shelter they'll steal that from the shelter and bring it somewhere else and you know just just to make them a home somewhere you know hard times fall upon people and you know they'll try to just take over a property and the neighbors they'll you know call the officers a number of times and run you know vagrants away from over here try to keep them from denning up but as you can see this here side over here this here I was uh, able to try to get this here mode here and uh, you know just stick right in there and I put a lot of weed and grass killer around I sprayed that up, up around the house so we're looking at the back part right here as you can see it was a lot of old weeds and all so I mowed as much as I can mow now that's the other area belongs to someone else so I'm just, I'm just responsible for mowing in this here area trying to get it all down and all so as you can see right in there I couldn't get get the more or nothing in there so I had to trim that a little bit all the way down and then I sprayed it with some weed, weed and grass killer to kind of get that overgrowth of thick grass in there and you know I, I tried trimming it but it's a lot of old thick brush and all so I uh, I worked on that for a little bit but like I say I managed to get all of this here over here mode and all and you can see um, I got it well I got everything mowed all around on the inside of the property and also on the outside of the property here so I think that's gonna wrap it up for this one here you know until they call me again to uh, mow it I don't, you know I never know why they don't, never want to just have it on a maintenance plan but I guess they probably feel like well hey once it grow up I guess it'll be cheaper to call for an overgrowth than to have a, a regular routine maintenance on it. But I don't know. But anyway, hey, as long as they keep calling, hey, I'll keep coming and I'll keep doing it. You know, so uh, as long as I can keep them happy, that's all that matters. Keep your customers happy. You know, try to do the best you can. Pleasing someone, and you know, 
let them know, hey, it's a lot of work in this. It's a lot of overgrowth and, you know, it's very hard on your spindles and your mower and when you're mowing stuff like that. So, you know, you, hopefully you don't damage your mower by, you know, mowing some of this tall stuff over and over. You know, putting a strain on your belt, how to buy new belts and all. Because, you know, chugging that old thick grass with the heat in that belt, it's going to stretch your belt for over a period of time. And, and you're just going to have to buy some new belts and all for the more. But hopefully, you, you, you'll be done made enough income by using the equipment to replace that that portion on your more and all. So far, I've been pretty, pretty lucky with that one. It's been a, it's been a pretty good war, you know, the grave war. But I'm thinking about, I don't know. I mean, I like it, but I, I think I want something with a bigger engine and uh, it's a bigger mower. I'm thinking about it. I don't know. I may get, I may get another. One. I may. I don't know yet. It just depends on how things go. You know, for this season. Well, but right now everything is on hold. I'm not buying it, nothing else. But you just don't know, you know, with all this going on out here. So you don't want to overindulge because you, know, you just don't know. Uncertain, uncertain times until you got a good, stable, wise economy and everybody's working and you know getting healthy and well. And then things may pick up and be a lot better but as of right now nah you better put the brakes on caution and buy nothing right now we have to look for next year and you know see that everything sells where everybody is staying well but anyway y'all i'm just sharing that little bit with you uh hey i'm fin to uh get out of here it's been a long day uh i mowed a number of properties earlier and so this one right here was gonna be my last one for today and tomorrow I'm gonna to get up and start mowing again uh, let me see what I got on the list got a number of them on the list so I just have to look see who else is on my list to do tonight so but anyway y'all take care have a good one hope you enjoy this video when I get it all posted and all so now I'll talk with y'all later have a good evening. Bye.